team in Philly that can be careless with the basketball. They average uh, just over 17 turnovers a game. That's, that's probably the one big negative on them. But boy, the Heat took advantage. They pressured the ball. They got into the gaps and were able to get steals and come down and score points off those turnovers. They forced 23. They scored 26 points off it. And you know how important that is? This is the number two defensive team in the league in terms of field goal percentage defense. So if you can get out on the break where you don't have to face them in a set defense, it is such an advantage. Easy one-on-zero type plays like that that Jay Rich is getting here uh, really add up and help you. And I thought that was a big key uh, in what Miami was able to do. And they had great numbers in these situations, whether it was a one-on-o team on his shoulders and carried them to the victory. He wound up having 15 points on five of seven shooting. The only field goal that he didn't score, he accounted for with an assist. His shots were so balanced. He was getting to the basket. They were in rhythm, whether it was a floater or a runner like this or a pull-up jumper. Uh, they all look good. And, you know, when he got to the end, you could see him searching, looking for his space. He loves getting back to that left hand on the pullback. That has been his go-to move all along, creating that extra space. And he's had to do it here. He did it um, with guys that had great length on him, you know, whether it was the 6'10 Simmons, we saw the Covington, um, even the big man, uh, a couple big guys on him during the course of those runners. He was absolutely feeling it and, and just a special, special time. He's not going to do that every night like he used to do back in the day. But when he gets it going, man, it is just so fun to watch. The building was on fire. That The ball was found in his hands late in games lately. Of course, the one uh, in <laughs> Philly, that one was right on. Front rim didn't go. Then he had another opportunity in New Orleans. So even though he's feeling the group, feeling maybe a new system, it's like old times that the ball's going to land in his hand. As tonight, he gets the ball in his hands and knocks it down at the free throw line first, and then obviously this opportunity once again. It goes in every time. You know, it, it, it's so fun to watch again and again. And again, I, I just I like the quality of the shot a little better. He wasn't flat-footed. He got right to left. He got to yeah. He really.